Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case Supernatural Investigations and we are going to case number two, we are going to Oregon and... Well, I actually forgot who was kidnapped. One Bigfoot in the grave. And who's the guy who's gonna get killed? Why are they, are they calling him Bigfoot? Because he looks like... Like Bigfoot. Oregon, USA. Good work, Dario, to your first supernatural investigation, Katrina. Glad you kept your nerves among all those vampires. I rubbed my garlic all over me so they didn't... So they don't come closer to me. But that's all you need. Garlic, steak, crucifix, and in some cases a hammer, I think. Most vampires abide by the peace agreement we struck with their leader, Dr. Aculus. But as you saw, there are always a few bad eggs. Like the vamp that kidnapped Mina and is still holding her somewhere. Hope tracked the signal from Mina's IP watch here to the Oregon woods. Chief, I'll come to Katria to check it out. Oh, now you're coming with me. You think you're up to it? You're still wet behind the ears. Katria, this is Luke. And he's still on probation on this team. I'm new on this team, but I've done this stuff before. Plus, Katria will be with me. We can handle this. Alright, kid. Anything you find, you report back to me. Yes, sir. Let's go, Katrina. I'll take care of him. No worry, chief. One big foot in the grave. That's you. What are you holding? A tablet, phone, or a flashlight? Okay, why are you loading so slowly? Please don't mess me up already at the beginning. Okay, there you are, buddy. Well, you do look like some kind of Bigfoot. So Bigfoot does exist. So who got to you and killed you? What, just a body? No clues? No other clues? Katria, what the heck is that? A gorilla? Or a giant? If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was a Bigfoot. But it can't be. Bigfoot are real, right? Well, see for yourself. We better call the chief to let him know. What do you got for me, Katarina? Chief, I know we came here to look for Mina. But we found what looks like a Bigfoot who was beaten to death. Are Bigfoot or Bigfoots real? Of course they are real. Bigfoot are, are shy, harmless, supernatural creatures living in the Pacific Northwest. But they are going ex extinct. There's only a couple hundred left in the world. So you better find who killed this one. I don't mess it up. I won't. And we got no leads on Mina so we can focus on Bigfoot. We'll take another look around. Oh, I'm gonna look around again. Well, I'm gonna have to because I don't have any... I don't collect any clues. Bigfoot. Oh. And he said there are more of you. So Bigfoot's our thing here. In this game, so they are real. Well, that I think of how he was positioned right here in the left corner. He is really big, very big. Oh, a safety vest. Katria, can you believe we are looking for a Bigfoot killer now? Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought Bigfoots can take, take care of themselves. Like, they are big and they are tough. I mean, we are totally capable despite what Chief thinks. It's just unexpected, is all. Anyway, the safety vest could have been dropped by a witness. There's a logo on the back. Of course, look at the logo might point us toward the vest's owner. 
And something could be hidden in that pile of moss. Let's search through it. This is my first investigation with you, Katrina. But I assume we'll eventually be talking to suspects. We can't tell them we're supernatural hunters. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Gwen usually pretends you're a journalist. We can say we write for Bigfoot Daily Gazette. That sounds real, right? I don't know. I gotta say, I don't know if I'll pull off pretending to be anyone. But I'll give it a shot. Well, tell them we are journalists. I'm gonna do the pile of moss because it looks like I'm gonna get an analysis outfit now that I have only one star. What was that? Marigold Carson, why is it a, a, a water, water bottle? I didn't see that. Also, Kateria, I knew there'd be something hidden in that pile of moss. The label on the bottle says Marigold Carson. Let's see if this marigold with this Bigfoot is murder. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna get another analysis from this crime scene, so I'm gonna get it from another one. Who got to Bigfoot instead of Bigfoot getting to him? Katria, most people don't even know Bigfoot exists. And here someone beat this poor thing to death. Yeah, I didn't realize Bigfoot were real. So how do you know it's uh, someone who killed him? What if it was a... Uh, Unicorn or something. Okay, lots of things exist there. It exists here, but unicorns? No, I don't think so. Because unicorns don't eat trail mix. Sorry, what? I don't follow. I'll explain in a second. First, there was definitely a fight before this Bigfoot got his lights knocked out. I found Bruce the base of his fur torn out. Judging by the placement of the torn four and bruises, it's clear Bigfoot's opponent was human sized. So, not a unicorn. And in a scuffle, they got peanuts, dry fruit, and chocolate on Bigfoot's fur. Anyone who spent time in the woods knows that peanuts, dry fruit, and chocolate make delicious trail mix. So, we know the cure is trail mix. Well, Katria, this puts us hot on the trail to catching our killer. Okay, first we have vampires becoming evil. Instead that they are peaceful here in this game. And now we have... What if there's, there's somebody out there who is killing all the... All the unusual and supernatural things out there. Including the Bigfoot. We are the ones catching the criminals and there's somebody killing them. Okay, safety vest comes from a logging company called Beaver Tooth Lodging. Logging, lodging, I don't know. And the employee number on the front points to an Elwood Grimes. So I guess this is where we pretend we are Bigfoot journalists and ask if Elwood knows anything about our furry victim. Ahem, <laughs> does he even know that Bigfoots are real? Alright, first let's have a chat with Marigold. Miss Carson, we are journalists looking into the death of a possible Bigfoot in the area. We found your water bottle nearby. Did you see anything unusual when you were there? Bigfoot? Oh, you mean that guy in the furry costume? I saw him, but I didn't go near him. I was standing on a rock taking a selfie, and when I went to post it, I saw that thing in the background. There was no one else around, and I didn't know what to do, so I just booked it. You didn't report it to anyone? No, I just wanted to get the... Gah. Get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean. I mean, what if, what if the furry guy was killed and the killer was still in the woods somewhere? You know, being here talking to you is kind of freaking me out again. If it's cool, I'm gonna go. You're afraid. GTF. Oh, I gotta... I gotta search that to see what it means. Mr. Grimes, we're with the uh, Bigfoot Daily Gazette. 
Being a lumberjack in the area, do you have any Bigfoot sightings to report? Loggers all have these stories, especially when they've done it as long as I have. Dog shapes moving in the trees. Strange sounds early in the morning. Have you ever seen a dead Bigfoot? A dead one? Are you crazy? Don't you think I would have told you that first if I'd seen one dead? I don't know, maybe you were leading up to it. Look, kid, I don't know what your article is about, but I have nothing else to tell you. There's a Bigfoot museum in town you could check out if you haven't already. Now, I gotta get back to work. Oh, it's later. I wish people stopped calling me kid. It reminds me of my foster dads. Oh, foster dads. Okay, Katria, you're right. We gotta stay focused. Mr. Grimes gave us that tip about the museum. Let's go check it out. Okay. Later. At the Bigfoot Museum. Welcome to my museum of cryptozoology. This is where I study the existence of legendary animals. My name is Darius Flexler and I specialize in Bigfoot artifacts. That's why we're here actually. Good and I write for the Bigfoot Daily Gazette. Hmm, I never heard of it. I would think it pretty prominent if you publish daily. What is the web address? <clears throat> God damn it. Oh, uh, the website is down for maintenance actually. It got, uh, hacked. That is unfortunate. Well, have a look around. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. Oh, jeez. If somebody, if somebody goes out and try to find us on the internet and see if we are journalists or not, then... Something's gonna go wrong if they find out that we are supernatural hunters. They would just think uh, that they are, that we are crazy, that we think the supernatural things are real. I assure you, everything is real. If you want, we have proof. Track blood on the floor here. Let's collect the sample before the curator guy sees us. I'll cover you. And hey, what's the deal with this torn paper? We better put it back together. Looks like a map. Let's restore it. Katria, this is a map of the woods. It shows different paths leading to and from the picnic spot where we found Bigfoot. And look, the map is labeled sightings. Do you think the busy curator was the one following the big uh Bigfoots? Big feet? Anyway, their movements. Let's ask Mr. Wexler about this map. Yeah. Okay, another shoe print. Oh, that went well. We got some of that bloody dirt for the print on, on the floor. Cool. Let's get to the lab. Okay. Now we have an analysis. Okay, let's talk to the curator. Mr. Wexer, we found this map. Ah uh, yes, this there were there were Kate's there were there were Kate's paths to our local big fit travel most recently. How can we to report his sightings? Well, we actually found a dead Bigfoot in the picnic area shown on the map. You found a dead Bigfoot? 
So that's the subject of your article for the Bigfoot Daily Gazette. Oh, what dare say they use? Such timid, gentle creatures deserve our respect. I have all their boobas, always detail to approach only when it is clear they are ready for interaction. So you never heard of anyone making contact with one, violent or otherwise? Heavens no! I am the resident expert and the closest encounter I ever had was when I articulated the skeleton I have on display. Speaking of which, when your investigation is true, I would be more than happy to take your speech but off your hands. For a handsome price, of course. You can't. He deserves the proper last rites. We'll see what happens. What's this bloody dirt? Katia, this sample is of the victim's blood. But there's evidence from your killer mixed in it too. What is it? Well, did you get all that by sniffing it? Like, with your werewolf nose? No, look, I'm a scientist and I use highly specialized scientific instruments. Okay, sorry, I was just kidding. Anyway, your killer got the victim's blood on their boots. I found traces of rubber mixed into the sample. The sample contained a vulcanized rubber used specifically for hiking boots due to its grip, breathability, and shock absorption. From this we know your kill wears hiking boots. Well, very fitting for where we are. Well, Katria, when we catch up with our kill, they'll be shaking in their boots. <laughs> Katria, any progress on the beaten Bigfoot you found? Well, we talked to a few potential suspects. But don't worry, we pretend to be journalists for the Bigfoot Daily Gazette. Daily... Who the heck has that much to say about Bigfoot? Sounds totally fake. Well, suspects believed us. That's... true. I guess I just got excited. Anyway, we spoke with the lumberjack who works in the area, but he wasn't aware of the murder. He said he has only ever heard strange sounds and seen the bushes move, stuff like that. But he pointed us to a local museum with a very knowledgeable curator. However, he also, he's, he also says he's never met a Bigfoot in person. So two of your suspects in a Bigfoot's murder have never seen a Bigfoot in real life? Not great leads, kid. Hey, didn't you say you saw that Bigfoot are notoriously hard to spot? Anyway, we do have a suspect who saw him. Marigold Carson, a hiker. But she mistook the victim for a dead guy in a costume. Good. Don't tell her otherwise. If she's not our killer, best not freak her out by insisting Bigfoot's real. Katarina, did you say Bigfoot? I was just at a cave bar with my Hootie McDream boat and we heard someone bragging about seeing a Bigfoot. Oh. Okay, a new lead. Alright, we can stop here with Act 2 playing in Chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!